Alright, this is one last midnight. Welcome back to another episode of Autonauts. Last we left off, we automated the forestry. Now we're going to work on automating our planks and our poles. And that'll get us one step closer into automating our basic bot. Okay, so in order to do that, we're going to need several bots. We're going to need bots that are making planks. We're going to need a bot that is making poles. And we're going to need two bots that are storing those particular items so let's go ahead and spin up four bots and get that get ready for that all right i have my bots ready i'm going to go ahead and make another group i'm going to call this parts i'm going to keep everything that is part related that is used to build other things other than tools in my parts group and let's go ahead and start with our planks guy uh i'm a plank plank maker oh plank maker zero one and let's say, go over to the log storage, pick up a log, and then drop it into the crude workbench, or the chopping block, excuse me, one. And we're going to do that. We're going to move over to log storage. We're going to pick up logs until my hands are full. We're going to move to the chopping block. We're going to empty that. We're going to make planks until my hands are empty. We're going to do that a number of times. I want to do that maybe let's say since i don't want that stack to be too high how about we do that three times and then i want to do that until the chopping block is full and i want to do that forever i'm going to go ahead and run that and in the meantime i'm going to just empty this out really fast and put it into our storage and as soon as i pick up the last one this guy should start working so he's off, he's getting his log, he's converting it over to planks. Okay, great. That's my plank maker. Let's make a plank storage. And let's tell that guy, hey look, if there's planks in here, go pick up the planks and drop it off in the plank storage. We are going to do this until our hands are full. And we're going to put them into the plank storage until our hands are empty. And we are going to do that until our plank storage is full. And we are going to do that forever. Now we have our planks being stored. Planks are being made. Planks are being stored. That's perfect. Let's go ahead and work on our pole. Same process. We're going to do pole maker. Our pole maker is actually pulling from planks. So let's have him grab a plank. And then put it into the chopping block two. We're going to do this until our hands are full. We're going to do that until our hands are empty. We're going to do that four times. We're going to do that until the crafting station is... Oops. Until the crafting station is full. Let's get rid of this. And we're going to do that forever. Let's go ahead and start that up. And let's get pole storage. And let's say for pole storage, we're going to pick up a pole. And we're going to drop it into pole storage. Again, we're going to do this until our hands are full. And we're going to add to pole storage until our hands are empty. We're going to do that until the pole storage is full. And we'll do that forever. And... Our pole storage should go over, pick up the poles. And once our poles are empty, our pole maker will start making poles. And this guy's gonna wait until his hands are full. Same with the planks. They're gonna wait until their hands are full before they drop them off. That is the pole and plank production line. We will eventually have a third item in here called pegs. We haven't unlocked that yet, but I've prepped for it so that we're ready for it. It takes poles and turns them into pegs, and pegs are used in various recipes. So we're going to take our group and store that into our parts area, and that's it. This was a quick and easy one, but it sets us up for the automated bot production, so our basic bot production. So in the next video, I will cover the basic bot production, 
and I hope to see you guys there. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Would love to have you in the community. If you want to follow me on any of my social media, you can find the links in the description below. And make sure to hit that notification bell. That way you know when I go live and when I post new videos. I'll talk to you soon. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.